Hello, parishioners of St. Monica. I just wanted to take a few minutes to talk about an upcoming initiative that we have in the parish. And you've probably seen in some of the emails and some of the communication, St. Monica 100, STM 100, a lot of people have been asking what this is. And, and really this came about after a lot of prayer and discernment. You're seeing in, in some of our recent videos and some of our recent emails just about how we're kind of in a period of discernment really trying to see where God is calling us as a parish. We're spending a lot of time praying. And a lot of my prayer, the Lord has really just kind of been putting on my heart to dream of what St. Monica would be like if 100% of our parishioners participated in something, in something in the life of the parish. And as we're approaching our 125th anniversary, the more that I dream about this, the more excited I get. St. Monica is a really special parish. It's a great place to be. I, I've had the blessing of being here for six years and being a parishioner with my family here for six years, and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. This is a great place of community of, where people feel welcomed and loved, and I love being a part of that. And with all of, the, all of those feelings I have towards St. Monica and all these, these feelings I have towards our great parishioners who do so many wonderful things in our parish, I can't help but dream what our parish would be like if 100% of our parishioners participated in something. And so in the beginning of January, I'm going to be speaking at all the masses. And these cards that I'm holding are going to be in the pews. And it's going to have an opportunity for you to uh, think about, pray about where God might be leading you to do one additional thing within the life of our parish. Now, as I'm saying that, I'm a father married with five kids, and I don't have a lot of free time on the weekends. I don't have a lot of extra time outside of my job and outside of um, being a, a, an Uber driver for my children for, to their sporting events. But what I do want to say is that no matter where your state of life is in, I want to challenge you to, to think about, to pray about doing something else, even if that something is little. We have these great one-time service opportunities, these service projects that you can jump into. If you're already going to Mass on Sundays, a liturgical ministry might be a great opportunity for you. Or maybe if you have even more time, really diving into some of these, these wonderful ministries we have in our parish that you haven't already participated in. That's what this Monica 100 is going to be all about, is us really thinking, where can I put a little bit more of my time into investing into the life of this wonderful community here at St. Monica? So what I want you to do is I want to give everyone a chance to kind of jump in on this a little early before January. So in this email, you'll see below that there is a survey, and that survey has, has pretty much all of the ministries, everything that, that we have, everything that we offer in the life of our parish. And I want to invite you to pray about this and, and check one of those boxes one thing that you would like to do that you're not already doing in the life of our parish. I want to invite you to check one of those boxes, and if you really feel enthusiastic, if you want to do a second ministry or want to learn more about a second ministry, go ahead and, and, and make a comment in the comments to the right. Or if you have just recently gotten involved in a ministry in our parish. I don't want to miss you guys. So please, in the comments to the right, go ahead and, and comment what ministry that you have recently participated in. One of the things I want to do with this is, is document the different ministries and the different people who are getting involved so that we can really see if we got uh, close or, or where we are in our journey towards the St. Monica 100. 100% 100 of our parishioners participating in the life of our parish. And as, as I continue to pray and dream about this, I invite you to join me in that. Let's continue to dream what our parish could look like if 100% of our parishioners were participating in the life of our parish. God bless you.